I'm in the new raid in the new RuneScape. Tombs of a musket within one week. But there's just one thing. I'm not really an entry mode kind of guy. We've got some work to do. Jagex has partnered with me to bring you this series. Fresh Start Worlds are new worlds where everyone starts from scratch in a fresh economy. My mission is to get to the raiding dungeons as fast as possible. Click the links in the description for more information on Fresh Start. I've entered the tombs, but I'm not quite ready to do it on normal mode. So I'm going to leave for now, but I will be back today, I promise. I need a few upper raids for raids, and the first one's going to be my prayer level, but it's going to be expensive. That is why I have come up with this moneymaker. Steel bars, check the price. Economy is mental, as we all know. 1.4k each. I will take that and the insta sell for 1.3k. Once again, skills pay the bills. The first step of the plan is rune crafting. Why am I rune crafting? Because you want to keep rank one. I would never. 30 rune crafting, there is a long winded legitimate reason behind this. That is the Varrock Diary completed. Easy mode. And if you know RuneScape, you know that for the easy Varrock Diary, we're going to be getting ourselves a nice XP lamp, but also the Varrock Armor, which gives you double ores when mining. The XP lamp can't be used till 30, so that's what the rune crafting was about. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I couldn't help myself. I just had to use all these uh, Fossil Island lamps from fossils on rune crafting. It's about 39, whoa. The second stage in the steel bar plan. Now I'm mining iron ore, not to put inside the steel bars, but because it's gonna help me smith the steel bars. I'm doing three tick iron, which is a crazy method, super quick XP and really fun. I, I don't know what's happened to me. I've started enjoying these sweaty skilling methods. 45 mining, the goal is 50. This method is the best for maybe 10 levels, but it's pretty cool. Episode two of Try Hard Tuesday, three tick, four granite. It's the best XP in the game to finish off the mining ground. This bad boy's helping out the circle of water. It's charged with water runes and it's essentially infinite water skins in the desert. <laughs> 50 mining. That is the mining level I need. Hold up. I'm going to pick up all this stuff. Someone sold me this for 99k yesterday. Let's go for 95k. That seems like a fair price. The steel bar side mission has taken me here. You need 50 mining to mine these rocks and this is all going to be worth it. In the hero's quest, you kill the ice queen for ice gloves, but you don't actually need to be doing the quest to come and claim them. The queen died again and now i have ice gloves ready for my smithing adventure luckily for me i've got numpty pumpy and stumpy to operate the blast furnace my smithing level isn't high enough so i have to pay to use it and i have to pay the workers but this isn't going to put a dent in the profits i'm about to make if my calculations are correct this should be around three mil per hour the literal money printer let me take those and that inventory of steel bars is worth like 40k as you can see got some nice smithing levels and xp and didn't even take an hour to use all of those bars Let's go 1490. 3.7 mil if they sell. I know they will. That's the cheapest opera in the Grand Exchange, and people are using them to make cannonballs, which are also expensive. Okay, the riches are rolling in. I come back from a bird run and I've got 1.7 mil already in cash. My money is gone into bones. This is so fast. There's no other thing I can do other than the worldy altar, even if I do have to just watch my money evaporate into the sky. Hey, 70 prayer. I can now use piety. Of course, we had to get that to do raids. There's no way I'm going to be using chivalry at Tombs of Mascot. You know, chivalry is dead. Quick one, Lost City complete. I need to use a dragon dagger on the core in P2 of Wardens, and I nearly forgot. Boys and girls, we have a slight issue. Ruby bolts. How much do you reckon they cost? The answer... 3k. Daylight robbery. I'm going to need a lot of ruby bolts for raids and I kind of fancy getting involved in the extortion and I'm currently 50 fletching so I only need 63. Start fletching is too good man. My smithing account's been hard at work while I've been getting the stats for TOA. Kind of works well in unison. Selling these at 140 is my break even and my research suggests that yes people were buying at that price so hopefully they all sell and I don't have to drop too far down. Finishing fletching old school style. 63 I can now make ruby bolts. The best mage XP in the game. I've pretty much hit my mage goal for tier away, but more mage XP will never hurt. You know how this goes. If you can't beat them, join them. So we're going to be selling a fat stack of ruby bolts for the humble price of 2,500 each. Man, I'm so sad. The fancy mystic didn't buy in the GE, so I'm rocking the basic bitch blue outfit. A desert raid calls for a desert spellbook. Desert treasure, that's why we completed you. 
We're going to be using blood spells. The trick of a mask here. I can't get there quickly because I don't have fairy rings unlocked and there's no fairy receptors in the game. Can someone get one? Not a soul in sight. I will be raiding alone on a solo mission. Now, the thing we have to figure out is what invocations am I going to turn on? The more invocations I turn on, the more difficult the raid. But the more loot I receive and I want some loot. I want all of it. Right, this is what I've decided on for 150s. For my setup, I think this is going to be the easiest raid. Definitely don't want any warden ones on. I look so bad on the board. Would you recruit this? This is the setup. I'm rocking manta rays because brews would require a mortgage right now. They cost a lot. I don't know what to expect. I think it's going to be difficult but doable. Not going to lie. I think the stats might be letting me down. And yeah, the gear isn't the greatest, but gotta love a challenge. Here we go. The order of the paths are very important because I've got walk the path on. So I'm going to be doing the monkey room first as that does not benefit that much from the salt. So many monkeys. I can't take damage because it's a war of attrition and I'm running low. Done. One pair of potion down. That seems reasonable. Baba, hello, my old friend. This is the hardest demi boss at any scale, I'd say. So, you might know what's coming. I regret to inform you that the cheese factory is open for business with the Keris Parmesan as its number one feature. I'm sorry, but I can't do Baba, especially even with Bruise because the gear and stats are so bad. I'm doing what's called a Red X method, which requires exact timing to take no damage. Any mistakes can be fatal. I messed up and the baboons are out and he's going to open every single thing, isn't he? Yep. This is chaos. Every bomb that hits me is a manta ray gone. Pray to the RNG gods for me. Baba bye bye. Ate some manta rays, but I can deal with it. Carefree second. Now this is probably going to be the easiest demi boss for me because I've got the Keris Partisan for free from the quest, which isn't actually a bad weapon just to kill Kefri in general. Nah, I never thought I'd miss the blowpipe as much as in this phase. I've got to kill all the scarabs before they get to the boss. But the MSB is just too slow. I should have brought knives or something. Range minion dead. Ancient spellbook coming in clutch using this to heal up. I don't want to eat those mantas. They're panic food. And now we build the prison. Save my DDS specs to dump on the arcane scarab, but I'm hitting nothing. Please, DDS hit. I get hit for a massive number if I don't kill it here. Come on. Oh, yes. You're in prison, mate. Goodbye. Wasn't too bad. Mid-raid loot. What have you got for me, sir? Oh, chaos. It's got to be chaos here, surely. Two smelling salts. Bruise restores. Let's go. Oh, no. I forgot. I've got a rude pickaxe and terrible mining. What? Nine? Oh. It's a three down. I'm going to have to go train some mining. Chase that rank one, eh? Smelling salts are huge. It's a plus 20 something increase in all my combat stats so i can actually blood barrage even though i'm 71 magic fly like a butterfly sting like a guy with 50 mage bonus doing blood barrages this is gonna be slow the dps check coming in this is another reason for salt so i can hit huge with my dds specs and dump them nice not too bad butterfly completely carried me there i was doing well this phase, however, scares me. Oh my, oh my god. Duck, dodge, 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 and dodge. Oh my god. <laughs> that was close. Oh, it's so stressful. It's done though. Two minutes on that phase. The back should be pretty standard. Ruby bolted into death. Oh, that's a big XP drop. 1k XP. Don't mind if I train my range up a bit more. The back is down. My range level is so low. The salt helped a lot there. I've still got two salts left, so I have to go life. That is just the obvious decision. Here we go, wardens. No crazy strategies to tell you of. Hopefully, I've just got enough firepower to get through this. Let's go. The first raid completion at the normal mode on the fresh start world took over an hour. What's crazy is I can literally get a purple right now and there's a reasonable chance of that happening. No, never lucky. Eight Ranar seeds and 1.5k deaths. Pretty nice loot, actually. I think I can sustain these. It's only going to get easier as I get better gear and stats. Let's go again. For completing my first Tombs of Masket raid, I'm rewarded with some XP and I am going to use this in 50k attack XP. Snap back to reality, only getting two restores and one salt in the chaos pack this time. That's not great. If you're wondering, P2 is a four down and it's draining a lot of my supplies. Nah, my crossbow, it failed me. It failed me, I hit no rubies. 
Well, maybe this is harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> maybe it is actually difficult. Oh, God. Who needs to loot the reward chest when you can just loot the Grand Exchange Collection box? Give me that money. One dose Ambrosia and a dream. Don't you do this. No. Oh, my. That was close. <laughs> Oh dear, these are actually kind of challenging, not gonna lie. If things start going wrong in the middle, then they go badly. Oh, the key. Why are the keys there? Anyway, what are we gonna get from our second loot? Oh, Thread of Eladinis. Very nice. That is used to upgrade the rune pouch to four slots, which would be amazing if I even had a rune pouch. These completions are a bit close, so I'm gonna go do some training. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Torvester, are you okay, bro? <laughs> Upgraded stats. The melees are a lot better, so I won't fail as many DPS checks, which was really holding me back. You'll be pleased to know this training's got us back to rank one, and we've actually moved up a rank on the YouTube high scores to rank 12, so make sure you keep subscribing, and we'll keep on climbing. Thank you, everybody. New stats. Your boy is back in town. Ready to get some completions. I'm hoping this does make a good difference. Bit of a gear change and replacing the MSB rune arrows with a fire cape and some knife tech. Hopefully the fire cape means I can three down P2 and the knives are going to be a better weapon for the Kefri Scarabs. The rune knife rapid fire. Budget blowpipe right here. No Scarabs getting in. Come on. Will it be a three down? I'm hitting more. No. It's still a four down, unfortunately. Never lucky. Can I get some sort of jewel or something else from the chest that is pretty nice paying for my supplies right now just about i think ah yes hello darkness my old friend baby, baby.